It is that time of the year where the game goes on sale, so a lot of new pick people pick up FC24. I truly believe I have the best custom tactics in this game for you to take on all the five back rats, all the sweaty players, and I'm gonna show you them right now. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Scales. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition, where we will be discussing what I truly believe is the best custom tactics in this game and the best formations in this game. Five back meta is extremely real. Now, a lot of people are running the five back meta because a lot of people can't defend in this game. Now, if a lot of y'all are new, pick up the game. FIFA, this game used to be called FIFA. Now it's called FC24, but it's made by the same company. And you know that this company that makes this game is a company that always makes defense super overpowered. And they really, really like making sure that there's a way for casuals to know how to play the game without actually knowing how to play the game. That's the real simple truth to it. So with that being said, there is a five back formation that's going around the community that you're probably seeing it every time you go into a weekend league game or maybe you're seeing it every time you go into a uh, 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 a rivals game and it's just a, uh, it's just it's just there right so on my road to glory if you don't know what that is if you're new to the, the community it is a account where you don't waste any money you build your uh, team through just you know straight up playing the game without wasting any fifa points or fc24 points whatever you want to call it and you build a team strictly like that well if you missed the last episode i did my icon pack and we got makalele and this is now what our starting 11 looks like but our starting 11 even gets more juicy when i throw mo salah into the lineup it gets even way better now obviously as a player of the month Mbappe coming I would love to do him but it's a road to glory and like I said I don't really have a lot of fodder so I doubt we'll be doing him but I am going to give you two formations to break down these five back people and also to get yourself some good finishes just to give you caught up I've done a lot of 19 and ones a lot of rank ones this year we're in the elite division we cook in the elite division we win a lot of games in the elite division um, and um, these formation also got me through division one to get to elite completely undefeated it's just a really strong formation um now with that being said some of these formations will have 71 depth and it's not because i want to be in 71 depth but it's because the, it is such an overpowered meta that if you're not in it and your opponent's in it you're kind of going to get cooked so you might as well maybe be in it but you don't have to be in it and i'm going to show you ways around it i have 840,000 coins the one thing i need on this team is an unbelievable attacker i don't have that yet but i'm waiting for black friday which is in a couple days and it will make the price of that go down so depending on when you're seeing this right now when i'm recording this around the black friday time when a lot of new people come to the game now you guys are here for custom tactics so today i'm going to be showing you a few custom tactics four three two one i got a good friend in the community goes by the name of text i've been using that formation i've been using this tactics but truly haven't worked out for me i'm going to give them more time but the four four two has been the most effective for me in this game it's the, the formation that gets me the most rank ones but i've also been implementing the four two three one to my game and it's a formation that works extremely well and very strong so i'm going to start with the four two three one why i'm going to start with this formation because this formation is a formation that works well against five back because when a five back player is playing against you they're not playing to dominate the game they are playing to actually just counter attack you consistently so now you're going to come up against a lot of five back players in 71 depth what does 71 depth do 71 depth is a meta that uh makes your players put a lot of pressure it's pretty much like possession possess uh, 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 press after possession loss and it also does an uh, automatic offside trap for you right so instead of having to click offside trap on your controller it does it for you it's a very 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 terrible thing it should be nerfed but EA hasn't nerfed it, so if, if EA's not going to nerf it, then it's almost better to abuse it. It's like if, if finesse shots are in the game and you and everybody wants them nerfed, but you don't use them, that's just crazy. You have to use it till they nerf it, otherwise people are going to do it on you. You know what I mean? There's no like, you don't get a cookie or an honor point for not doing it, so you might as well do it, right? But with that being said, this formation runs the balance, 441, 71, balance, direct passing, 41, with, uh, go ahead and put six in the box with two and two, okay? Um, and then, obviously, you're in the 4 2 three, one, so having yourself two nice defensive mids is always a very, very, very good option. Um, and then you want to have yourself fast players all the, way, all the way through the midfield. The instructions line up with a comeback on defense, get into the box for your cam. Your striker's going to be on stay central, uh, come back on defense, and get into the box on your, your ram and on your lane come back on defense get into the box remember this is a formation that is not going to allow you to really get countered you want to have players your midfield you're just stacking the midfield so against the five back you have so much in that midfield that you're not going to really let them push out right you don't want to let a five back push out because right now bro that's what you're going to see a lot of the five back now i want you guys to know when you match up against a five back it's not a normal five back anymore right you're not playing 
you have to remember this. You're not going to be playing an elite player in a five back. Why do I say that? Pro players are not allowed to run five backs. That formation is banned from all pro competitions. So when you match a five back, you're, you're pretty much matching a casual or you're matching somebody that's an okay level at this game, but is not the next, next level, right? The next, next level of players don't go into it because it's banned in all pro competitions. So if you're somebody who wants to compete or even be like in that type of area, you're not going to be playing a five back. Um, so when you match it, you got to think like them. And how is somebody that is going to not really know how to play the game play you they're gonna play with through balls over the tops and just abuse down the wings with their left backs and right backs so having these two players on comeback on defense get into the box for crosses and having all them on stay back is, is super, 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 super important to just counter what those guys are doing. Cut lane pass, cut passing lane on both your defensive mids, stay back while attacking on both your defensive mids, and cover center on both your defensive mids. You're gonna let your cams kind of do all the outside work and your defensive mids you wanna have all in, you wanna have them on, on, on cover center because you don't want no finesse shots coming in. You want, these guys are there to stop the finesse shots, the Travellas from outside the box, and to also help your DMs just or your center backs just in case they're out of any position that's what they're for so the cutting passing lane is very important because when they try to come in with the right back and the left back and try to get a through ball you want to be there to get in the, the player get in the way of the ball and and all that great stuff right stay back while attacking on your right back stay back while oh no excuse me overlap and balance on your left back a lot of the formations this year you kind of want to have one guy going forward listen if you are playing someone that is extremely 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 ratty in the five back and you see he keeps counting you down the wings pause the game go in to your game put stay back while attacking on this left back make sure nobody's going forward um especially if you get the e the, the lead early and you're playing against a five back person then stay back while attacking right after you get the lead don't let any type of counter attacks happen to you all right so that's what the four two three one is gonna or the, the four two three one is gonna bring you now i'm okay in that formation but it's not my favorite formation my favorite formation in this game is 442 and it's not even close this formation here allows you to play so many different styles of play you want to finesse from outside the box you got that you want to travella from outside the box you got that you want to ticky talk around your opponent you got that you want to play down the wing r1 dribbling you got that you want to use your left backs and your right backs going forward all the time you got that this formation gives you everything it's in my opinion the best formation in the game because it allows you to just play any style of football that you feel like playing, right? It's sometimes it looks like it's a, you're in a 4 one 2 and 2 narrow Sometimes you look like you're in a 4 one 2 and 2 wide It just plays so well. So let's get into it. The most important thing about this formation is this instruction on your right CM or your left CM when they're on fully balanced except for cover center because it's pretty much going to allow you to attack with four players plus a fifth one in behind. We'll explain in just a minute. Come back over here. You're going to have balance with 38 width. You're going to have 71 depth. But again, 71 depth is optional. I believe personally that if you are a player that is not good defensively, you don't want this on. People actually think that 71 depth is helping them defend. In my opinion, it's leaving you more wide open. You probably want to be in like 64 down to like the 50 range um, because this is going to allow your team to stay more compact. It's going to allow your team to stay more organized. When you go into the 71 depth, sometimes you will see your center back trying to intercept the ball from your player's defensive mid on his side of the field. And that's not good because if you play an actual good player, they're going to one, two over the top of you and you're going to be absolutely miserable. So a lot of times people think that 71 depth is actually helping them, but it's actually not. So if you're a good defender, I would say, okay, you can abuse the 71 depth. But if you're not a good defender, I would put this around 55 to 64, learn how to defend. And then once you know how to defend properly, then go to 71 to put pressure on your opponents. But you don't want to be somebody that's not good at defending in 71 depth, bro. It's going to leave way too many gaps. Balance on the build up direct passing by the way i know i'm a rat for playing this i don't want to be playing this i've been begging for ea sports to nerf this i'm all over social media telling ea sports to nerf this because it should be nerfed but i am going to say this now the fact that five back is becoming such a meta i hope this doesn't get nerfed because if ea sports is going to ban five back from pro tournaments that means they know that five back is a boring ratty formation that is making the game miserable for people to play against and for people to watch that's why they banned it from the pro scene so 
if you're going to nerf 71 depth, you need to nerf five back because 71 depth is going to be the only thing that allows you to put pressure on a five back player. If 71 depth gets nerfed and five back remains as strong as it is, there is going to be no counter to the five back formation in this game. And we are going to be stuck like we're playing FIFA 23 again and everybody's going to be running five back. And that's, in my opinion, just the worst thing for football, right? Five back, nobody likes it in real life. Nobody likes it in FIFA's. Nobody likes five back, bro. And the fact that everyone wants 71 depth we also need to talk about five back getting nerfed because if this gets nerfed that needs to be nerfed and i think that's why ea hasn't nerfed 71 depth yet because they know how strong five back is bro anyways balance direct passing with 50 width is where we're going we're gonna have just one two three four five in the box two and two on corners and um you're chilling with that right we move to how the team is laid out Mo Salah's on the right for the finesse shots. Rodrigo's on the right for the finesse shots and on the right foot passing and stuff like that. Neymar in the box. Neymar's going to be the guy doing everything for you. Want The way you want to build this team is you want to have one player in your box that can dribble, right? Neymar, uh, uh, Messi, anyone that's a good left stick dribbler. Your other guy, you want to have good R1 or just straight good finishing. In my opinion, I want Cristiano Ronaldo in this spot. Um, this position I've told you a second ago is the most important position in your entire team. This guy right here or this girl right here is is going to be the one that puts everything together Aitana I believe plays this position the best in the entire game but with that being said Modric is super important especially against the new five back meta that people are running because of the right foot Travella that hits the back of the net almost every time because he has Travella plus so if you're playing someone that's super defensive having Modric for the Travella plus is going to be super super key your outside wingers you just want them really really fast left back and right back super important this year let's talk about it man we have state central on your 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 whoever your dribbler is or whoever your faster player is or whoever just is your more dominant attacker for me neymar is the best finisher i have on my team um so i want him to just stay in the box so i could dribble him score goals balfutro on the other hand is going to stay central but come back on defense he's going to help a little bit on defense because um he's faster uh and i want to get the ball to neymar in the box so he's going to kind of after we defend it almost plays like it's a 4-4 it's it, it's going to defend like it's a 4-4-1 like a 4-4-1-1 right because balfutro is going to drop into this space right here and Neymar is going to be the only one staying up top right then you're going to have come back on defense get into the get into the box for crosses and get in behind for your Mo Salah or your right mid your left mid same thing get in behind come on uh, come back on defense and uh, uh get into the box for crosses okay one of your dms or one of your center mids is going to be act like your dm stay back while attacking cover center that's it stay back while attacking cover center on your other one, this is your attacking one, just cover center. Like I said, this is going to be your box to box. This is going to be your cam. This is going to be the heart of your team. Why? When you're attacking, Mo Salah's taking the right. Rodri's taking, uh, Rodrigo's taking the left. Neymar and Paul Futuro in the box. Modric is going to pull in behind them and he's going to stay right on there at the edge of the box, right? The Travellas are there, the passing. When you bring that ball up the wing with Salah and you go into Paul Futuro, Paul Futuro can go back to Modric and Modric can go straight to Neymar. It's just like, little weave thing right there it's just beautiful tiki taka it allows you to tiki taka around people's defense and it's so lovely to play um you're gonna have stay back while attacking on your right back and on your left back you want overlapping but nothing else this right here lads is gonna give you the most opportunity to dominate play right your midfield in my opinion is extremely important in this position i'll give you a couple names that you can use moderate uh, 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 Aitana, probably two of the most affordable cards that are amazing, right? Modric a little bit more ex exp expensive, but Aitana's 100 and something K. And honestly, she might even be better in this spot than Modric. And that's just me being honest with you. Um, absolutely insane, uh, Aitana is, right? On the wings, it, 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 by the way, you're probably like, what's an expensive op option for this position? An expensive option for this position would be like the Hullets, right? Hullet would be insane in this position. Maybe Kaká. I'm not sure about Kaká this year, but I feel like he could be somebody that could maybe cook in this position. For the wings, if if, if the, the best options for these is Rodman, Salah, Henson, Henson. If you put Henson on this right, this left hand side, I do it on the on the big team. Um, you take her and you just hit a finesse shot, and they just they're automatic, man. Henson probably has the finesse, best finesse shot in the game, so you're just gonna cook people with finesse shots from out there. Um, but yeah, one thing I found really, 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 really successful is to have one absolute deadly finisher and one player that can make things happen. So in the future on this account, obviously I would love to have someone like a Ronaldo or or just a, just a, just a straight up goal scorer. Ronaldo's not great in this game, but a lot of things he shoots, he scores. Um, so something like that would be amazing, but. 
most important positions, lads, is your right wing, your right, left mid, your left mid, right mid. They're going to be the ones kind of creating all the up and down attacks. And another thing that's really important is having a good left back and right back with passing. You want to be able to pass the ball very, very good. Something that's very, very effective in this game. A lot of you guys know it just like I know it. Unfortunately, the truth is playing down the wing. So when you have the ball on your Mo Salah, being able to one, two with Lorente and then over the topping Mo Salah through is huge. So your right back and your left back need to be able to do good over the top. So definitely looking for left backs and right backs that can get good passes going for you is going to be super, 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 super important. Um, but guys, this is what I truly believe is the best custom tactics in this game. I know a lot of people will say 4 3 2 1 and a lot of things like this, but if I'm being honest with you, man, the formation that just gives you the best all around balance is the 4 4 2. Um, I think 4 3 2 1 which is the one that a lot of pros are in or now is a great formation but i also think that offensively it takes a lot more skill to attack in a 4-3-2-1 a lot more skill a lot more skill moves um so the 4-3-2-1 is that Adam Militao? That could be Adam Militao. That's kind of crazy I just, if I just got... I, I, oh, no, I didn't. Um, but that that's, you know, if 4 3 two, one if you have skillers on your team and stuff, then I think it'll be an effective formation for you. I just think the 4 4 two and the 4 2 three, one are the most balanced for no matter what team you have. 4 3 two, one if you have a really big team, I think you're going to cook with it. But if you don't have a really big team, then I think 4 4 two, four, two, three, one these are going to be the most effective formations for you um, because they just give you the good defense, the good offense, just the all-around full balance. And, and 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 good gameplay all the way around so i haven't really tried to get my elite rating up this season because the season was really short so i don't think there was much point in that um but our rivals record uh, rating right now is 815 um we got the seven wins already for our rewards the season ends in like two days when you guys are watching this um we've 19 and one and, and like i told you guys man on the rtg i've just had the most success being in the 442 or the 4231 but the game just keeps getting harder and harder and harder because people are now abusing a five back meta um, and, and it sucks. It's annoying that you have to play against it. But the truth is, it's, it's a very, very um, effective formation. So a lot of people are playing it. And they're playing it very sweaty. So find the formation that fits best for you. That's the tips I have for you. I'm not saying that these are going to make you a top 100 player, an elite player. I'm just saying that this is what's been effective for me. Um, I hope these tips help you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. And to all my RTG guys that watch every single episode, I just want to say, can you please let me know a striker? I should get in the comments down below. I, I really want to buy somebody. I don't want to waste my coins yet till Black Friday, but I really, really want to buy somebody. Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, I hope this helps you guys. A lot of people have been asking for these. Hopes it helps you. Thank you guys for watching. Big old thumbs up. Turn your bell and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for another RTG episode. Booyah, we out of here.